All right, it's Health Check with the Ambushes. Hey there, everyone, this is Rao Kao, and I guess my extremely well thought out health strat now is that I'm doing these videos and that's when I ask, hey, so do you think I'm at the level where I should could be starting to do things again? Because, I mean, I, I don't know why I would be doing it that way. I, I, it just, I feel like it's obvious that I can't trust myself, right? So I'm just trying to speak as normally as possible in my normal tone. I can tell there's some strain, but at the same time, there's no effort, right? So I don't know, like I'm clearly getting there, but I'm, I'm, I'm letting the voice of the people decide if it's break time or go time. Also, I feel like it's important for me to say that when I do go back in production, I'm probably going to start with one game. I'm probably just going to pop a game of, uh, it would probably be, um, uh, uh, hat, hand time. It would probably be death wish. And then I'll be it. And then the next day over, maybe I can do two. Maybe the next day over, I can do maybe three. That's the way I would handle it. Like, I don't think I would just pop in and do all three plus advent, like, immediately. That seemed like it would be quite silly. But anyway, enough preamble. Uh, already, this is December 2, and I think there's, like, five games here. So, uh, yeah, this year been nuts. Well, let's just get started. How? Oh, this is a cute, short rhythm platformer. So how in a mood you were during that music level in Donkey Kong Country Returns. So thought you like this too. Enjoy Esma. Uh, so I've never heard of this. And also this is the type of name for a video game that would make it impossible to find like or Google or whatever. It's called 140. 140 is a challenging minimalistic platformer with abstract colorful graphics. Rhythmic awareness is required to overcome obstacles controlled by an energetic yet melancholic electronic soundtrack. That does sound super rad and extremely my jam though. Esma, you've been there. You've been roaming the shadows for years and years and years. You are absolutely the type. To know exactly the kind of game would be my jam, I think. And so, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, we'll be looking at trailers later. You can see that I got... Uh, uh, there's a pattern emerging. Alright, Sapphire's here. Rowington Cowington. Instead of games you might like, here's some curveballs. <laughs> okay, I can't laugh. Oh, but that's funny. Oh, that's so funny. One is about destroying a part of the world. The other is about throwing TNT everywhere. Kablang! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Dorkmas! Well, so the next one's from you, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you said the exact same thing. So, Cultic Chapter 1 and Demolition Company. Gold Edition. I'm sorry, but I do not see the difference between the two. Cultic! Death is only the beginning. Crawl from your grave and gear up to fire your way through the ranks of a mysterious and twisted cult. You, your guns, and your dynamite will have to shoot, slide, blast, duck, dodge, and maybe throw a gib or two to survive in this old school inspired shooter. Wait a second. I think that was a royal pick once, right? It's like an Unreal like? I thought it looked really rad. Um. Yeah, the royal pick where I ended up playing Black Mesa, I think. Oh, well, now I own Coltec. And Demolition Company. Demolition Company Gold Edition. The complete Demolition Company experience. It includes Demolition Company, the DLC kit pack, plus brand new equipment, new missions, and a huge new city district. Four times bigger than the old one. I don't know what that means. See, when you read your game description of a game, you get to know a little bit about the game, but because this is a pack... It tells me what it includes, but does not really tell me what it's going to be about. Well, other than I'm probably going to demolate something using my company. Well, we will be checking out resources soon enough. And here we got Fusion Warrior going on. Cow, cow, castle, 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 castle. Enjoy. So on brand with uh, yesterday's cat fishing game, here we got a castle full of cats. A castle full of cats. A castle full of cats is a catvania. <laughs> okay. Hidden object game where you need to fight all the cursed cats in the castle. Save each and every cat and unleash the power of love. Heart. Use that punctuation. 
Okay, so I mean, look, Catvania, you got me there. Hidden object game? I don't know anymore. I don't know, you, might, you got me, then you lost me. So this game has already been a sort of a meme in the spot zone. It's Beanie! Beanie, come on, Beanie. Yeah, dog in the grass. You said Beanie, a vertical 2D platform featuring a round B in an early 90s pre rendered environment. I think, I believe it's from the same dev as Tori. And it's Beanie, it's a big bee. You see there's green bees and there's a Gordo. We don't, we don't worry about, we don't talk about Gordo. Gordo's here. You can't, you can't get rid of Gordo. All right, so I got all five of those games loaded up in Firefox. Let's check them out. 140. There we go. Those are shapes. Oh wow, so, oh, your shape changes. Well, that's kind of neat. Whoa, I don't know really what's happening, but I am loving it. That looks so rad. Okay, yeah, on the beat. That's what the text was saying. Feels like, oh, noise like that, huh? Video encoding, love those. Um, but still, this looks super cool. Look at that. Oh man! Okay, and there's bosses too. So it's like a rhythm game. Yeah, it's a rhythm platformer. This looks super rad. Like honestly, I yeah, I think that game's just like <laughs> that thumbnail. -y. I got made for me is theirs on the screen. Uh, yeah, um, yes. What, what, just say it, okay? I don't know, sometimes words don't come out, all right? That game is just like immediately in the bucket, 140. That like, game looks super sweet. I might struggle a lot, but it looks super sweet. All right, call tech. Uh, okay, well, launch trailer. It's two minute long. Let's check it out. Tree Realms, wait. That Treaty Realms? Came by Jason Smith. Isn't a game I thought? I guess we'll see once we start to see um, gameplay. Ooh, I love how it started out as like a real photo and just sort of like lost a bunch of colors as like the game engine seeped into reality. Okay, maybe it's not the game I was thinking. Maybe it is. Man, I am loving this trend of like fake old graphics though. Did they all just like speak to me on a personal level? Like I just kind of always love it. No exception. It is incredible. That's right. Time is up. Their time is up. Arrow knows no more time anymore. Look at the colors on the hand. I think. Okay, so it might. Okay, so it's not the game I thought. I don't know what game it was. I don't know. But that looked really rad, though. There's something really sweet about this. Yeah. So it was a different game, just with a similar theme. I kind of dig this. You claim this is a curveball, but honestly, I could, I could dig this. This looks pretty rad. I mean, you know, I'm starting to play more first-person games. I think this looks super rad. Like, uh, no, no sauce, no merriment. What, what does that mean? No sauce, no merriment. That gets me excited. Like those two text don't match but yeah i wonder what game i was thinking about i don't know by heart what's the address of all the royals i was offered but also you offered demolition company see i sought out the trailer for not gold but just normal oh it's from farming simulator 
So it's it's really just a, a simulator game, except it's Demolition Company instead of Farming. Okay, look at that website. I love that website. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh. Demolition Company dash the game dot com. This is kind of funny. I mean, this looks to be extremely straightforward. Whoa, check it out. There's our truck and this giant screwdriver. Is beauty not, uh, is beauty, is nature not beautiful? Is beauty not natural? Yeah, both are true. Oh, but you don't need a truck. Sometimes you use your own jackhammer gun. Yeah. Be extremely close with these chunk of concrete that you're separating around you. Uh, I would not feel safe personally doing that. Oh my gosh, it's a truck. Yeah. Pile into that pile. You did it. So I'm, I'm just gonna say it right now. I've been very clear about games, you know, that I'm adding in my bucket. I just want to say, receiving a game in the advent does not guarantee that I'm going to add a game in my bucket, and if that happens or not is in no way indicative of how I feel about you as a person. I don't know why I decided to just say that out there right now, right now. I just thought maybe it was a good thing to make sure it was real clear. But man, like you look at the the trailer here and it's like, no, yeah, that's that's where the game is. Like that's pretty good, but like you did it. You, you, you did the thing in the trailer. That's... That's it. Uh, I've seen... Like, I feel like I've seen what the game is. Not even what the game is about. But what the game is. Maybe I'm being a little bit, um... What's the word I'm looking for here? Unfair? That's not the word I was looking for. But it means what I meant. Maybe I'm being a little bit unfair in judging, but... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the next game we're looking at is a castle full of cat. Yeah, that's right. Explore a castle or die. Oh, wow, yeah, so it is a find a cat game. You click around and find a cat and then a cat curls up. A very straightforward talk to cat. Oh, oh, well. Oh, Lino said the game was good. And I mean, I really like the cut of his jib. What an extremely straightforward little trailer. Oh no, this game is about one thing. Here it is. That's it. That's what there is. It's like, oh yeah, I don't have a choice but to believe you here. It's a castle full of cats. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Just one more. It's Beanie! Uh, yeah, it's Boo. This is Nintendo Switch, though. I've got to do the coming. No. That means it was out already. That's the way I see it. It's Beanie! It's for everyone on the ASRB. Well, check it out. So, this is already. It's, like I said, it's a known quantity on the spot zone. It's already on the list. It's basically Donkey Kong Country. But for the modern age, that B is perhaps a little too chubby. Like, it's barely, it can't even use its legs. It's just bouncing everywhere. And the super computer created graphic style world. No, like, the game is so transparent about being a Donkey Kong Country. Like, I admire it for it. This is being straight up. Although, man, gameplay sure is going up a lot of towers. But, uh, you know, what else is a bee gonna do? 
Uh, you gotta be realistic about these things. It's Beanie! Yeah, that, that pink S. I've That pink S logo is inserting itself in like every strand of my life. There is no escape. Everyone is doomed.